Oh god. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. My name is Ulskify and today we're gonna get a bit scared. Hopefully. So yeah. Uh, let's go. No, not yet. I gotta tell you first. And today's scares comes from none other than Fearsome Top 5. And the video is 5 scary ghost series of uh, undeniable paranormal evidence. But yeah, before we start, in the description you have a link to your channel. Go in there, subscribe, like, and uh, leave a cool comment. And then while you're going down there, to the right, you have a little subscribe button. I think you should click that as well. But now, let's go. I'm gonna take a room. Oh god. Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. Alright, alright, alright. Are you ready? Good. Because I am I'm not really, but go. Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. Grab a seat and get ready to take a look at I five scary seat. videos. And I'm ready. Number 1. The historic Jefferson Hotel located in Texas is over 170 years old. A man named That's Jeremy old. is the current owner of this hotel as well as a paranormal enthusiast. It's no surprise that he chose to purchase this hotel, as rumors of a haunting inside have been circulating for decades. I mean, makes sense. Various objects moving on their own, as well as ghostly figures, are often seen within the halls of this old building. And with multiple cameras set up inside, these creepy things are sometimes caught on video. Okay. Let's take a little look. Turn on the Hawkeyes. Oh, what? What? I was focusing on a little green rectangle. No, that's not a rectangle. I don't know what it is. What? Okay, something's going on down After there. After the two men walked out of the room, a panel on the piano mysteriously fell to the floor. There doesn't appear to be anything or anyone around that could have possibly caused this. Okay. If we take a closer look at this old piano, this panel looks like it requires some force to come off. Yes. Now, this incident was just a glimpse into the activity that often happens inside this hotel. I mean, if I booked a room at the hotel and I walked in and I saw this little shit, then I would happily sleep on the street instead. But yeah, okay. I mean, that that was a good clip. It was not super scary, but it was very interesting. I mean, let's see if it's more. And on another day, something else was caught on camera that's absolutely terrifying. Ooh. Here's a video that happened uh, in our downstairs hallway. We don't get a lot of activity uh, in the downstairs area. Okay. But uh, in this particular area, the cameras went off right here and said there was motion. Okay. We do have a camera right up here pointing that way. So in a second, I'm going to show you a weird clip um, of something either peering out of that doorway or some uh, unknown object coming out. I, I don't have a good explanation for it, but I'll show you the video. Okay. Uh-oh. And that's a little peekaboo right there. At 3.44 in the morning, what looks like a figure can be seen peering out from one of the rooms. Yeah. This ghostly figure slowly emerged into the hallway before quickly ducking back inside the room. The owner, Jeremy, has no ah. idea who or what this could have been, as there was no one on that floor at the time. I mean, the movement also, the movement is very weird. Okay, I mean, the is legit. Okay, I mean, this is good. Although the Jefferson attracts many guests looking to spend the night in a haunted okay, hotel, uh, I am definitely not one of them. Number two. Okay. A man named Casey runs the I mean, that was good. Outdoors TikTok account where he shares his love of the outdoors. From hunting to fishing, his account is full of his wilderness adventures. Well, after all the time he spends in nature, he began to notice something bizarre lingering close by. 
and uh -oh. whatever was hiding amongst the trees began to appear eerily close to his house. Well, one night, while he was recording outside, he managed to catch this. They're all okay. over the damn place again tonight. Okay, I mean, this feels like a starting scene of a horror movie. I mean, I'm saying that a lot, but I mean, yes, this feels a bit scary already, even though nothing is really going on. But I mean, you know, a little house up on the hill. It's pitch black. I mean, yeah, okay, this is gonna be good. Okay, I'm gonna keep walking towards it. Yeah, I see, okay. Uh oh. I see the eyes. Might it could be. To capture something here. Yes, it could be an animal. Okay, that's not an animal. All right, whatever you are, you need to leave. Get pissed Stay off. Stay out of this place. This is our home. I mean, to be fair, that might have been his home also at one point, but it's not anymore, so get out, please. This is our home. You need to leave. Okay, I mean, this is actually... Gary. Leave now. Oh God. Did you shoot them? It. That'll keep it away for a while. Okay, that's a bit aggressive, but oh, sure. I hope that does it. I really do. Just a few yards away, hidden in the. Okay, I mean, yeah, I mean, if, if that was me, then it will do. If you shoot up in the sky, and I know that you have a weapon and your arm. Yeah, I mean, I would be out of there. I mean, if that's a real person, I truly hope that they. It's gone now and I won't come back. Rush, a creature with glowing eyes can be seen. With his flashlight pointed in its direction, we can clearly see this unknown creature staring back at Casey. For the safety of him and his family, he shot in its direction, sending the creature scurrying back into the darkness. Hmm. For some time now, Casey has been leaving food on a stone in the woods that he refers to as the Gifting Rock. And amazingly, he sometimes returns to find the food gone and something else left in its place. Almost okay. as if this creature is returning the favor. But sometimes he's not quite sure if what was left is a gift or a warning. Well, as a... I mean, I feel that we are sending a bit of mixed signals here. I mean, first we give him a bit of food, and then the next day we we shoot at him. I mean, we're getting a big, bit of mixed signals here. But I mean, oh, I mean, I don't know. This kind of feels pretty legit. Because I mean, it was not the human, the eyes were too big. Could still be an animal, I don't know. But I mean, let's check it out. A lot of you know, I decided to leave the gifting rock alone and try to get rid of the creatures instead. Okay, that makes sense, but, yes. Uh, so many of you wanted me to check on it again and see if they left anything over the winter. So I decided I would do it. Darkness okay. is falling a lot quicker than I thought it would. And I'm still an hour's hike from home. So, uh, but we're almost there. Wish I would have got out here earlier. And we'll have a look at it. Oh, jeez. I mean, I'm taking back the mixed signal port. I mean, clearly he stopped doing it because to get rid of it. So I mean, okay, I take it. I take it back. Yeah. What? Okay, they left something. That's the gifting rock you just seen. Uh. What? Yeah. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take that. The bones. And I'm certainly not gonna leave him anything in return. And uh, I think I'm going to get out of here before it gets dark. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow and investigate this further. Guys, I don't know to take, whether I should take that as a warning or a gift. I'm not sure. I mean, what but was it? I really it? just want to get out of these woods as quick as I can. Jesus. Okay, that ain't good. The bones of a large animal were left on okay, top of the rock. 
Casey immediately got an uneasy feeling and decided to leave it be. So what exactly is in the woods near his home? And is okay, I mean, uh, at the beginning I was joking a little bit about this, but I mean, this, this is actually very spooky. Uh, for some reason it feels pretty real as well. So I mean, it, okay, this is weird. Because I me, mean, would an animal actually drop off some bones at the dinner plate? I mean, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Okay, this is spooky. Is he potentially communicating and leaving treats for Bigfoot. And that would Number be something, three. wouldn't it? Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the Ghost Tech Paranormal YouTube channel recently returned Ooh, to a place known these guys as are good. Fort. Constructed in the 1860s, this fort was built as a defense against France. For the last few decades, sightings of ghostly soldiers have been spotted inside. In more recent years, devil worshippers have conducted rituals inside, releasing oh. something dark within the tunnels of the fort. After setting up several static cameras, the guys were ready to begin their investigation. Okay. So first of all, I'd like to speak to any of the soldiers that are still here within the tunnels. Is it possible you could? I mean, I really like these guys. I mean, he, he got the perfect, perfect voice for, for stuff like this. And he's, he's really nice. He's really nice. Come down here and join us, please. We receive our first EVP within seconds. A voice asking, who is this? Uh-oh. That are still here within the tunnels. Almost immediately into the investigation, uh -oh. a ghostly voice was caught asking, who is this? And as they continued the EVP session, they soon realized that something was watching nearby. Uh-oh. So there seems to be... some type of movement back down towards the main magazine room. Which is right back down there, to the end of the tunnel, yeah. and then left, so it's quite far away. Okay. Is there someone down there? Is there someone down there watching us? I guess not. Who are you, please? Me? Okay. Up oh, there, mm. right across our eye, our light at the bottom, it just went out completely. Something black moved across it. Moved from the right to the left. I mean, that was big. Something was standing up there and it's moved. It completely blocked it out, completely went black. Yes, I saw it. That would be on camera. That was right in front of our camera. Something moves in front of our static cam, and on review, no shape can be seen, but the whole screen seems... That's quick, that's really quick. But I mean, yeah, it's just turning black. But, I mean, you can't really see any shapes or something like that, it's pitch black. I mean, okay, then, this is interesting. I mean, these guys feel very legit as well, I'm saying that every time I see a clip from them. I mean, they're really good. Seems ...to just go black. After Mark heard movement behind him in the tunnel, something dark appeared to block the camera for a brief second. Yeah, the guys really continued their investigation in another part of the fort, and things quickly took an eerie turn. Are you in between me and Phil, or in between Jeff and Phil? Oh god, whoa, 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 whoa. what's going on there? What's going on? I was shot by it, someone come by me, Phil. Mark. Yeah, hang on. What did he say? Who's just come past Jeff and set the cat ball off? Who is it? Something pushes past me and I fall into the wall. At the same time, a motion detector ball activates as it picks up the movement. 
with only a few grazes to my arm, I am lucky, as only a few inches away coming out of the wall is a long spike, which could have caused me serious injury. Also, huh. at this point, our static cam in the main magazine room captures a white mist anomaly as it rises from the ground and goes up into the uh -oh. sea. While in a dark tunnel, Jeff could feel something push past him. And around the same time, their static camera caught a ghostly mist slowly rising up from the ground. Later on, as Phil was conducting an EVP session, something strange was caught. Hey. Maybe, if you're from an earlier period, you'd know Fort Amherst. Is that familiar to you? I'm here. What's going on, guys? I thought I heard our 360 go off, and then there was a bang. Okay. Back right down the other end. I didn't hear that, but you're, you were stood in a different place, so... Let's go check it out. It was, it was the alarm on the 360, and then there was like a knocking or a banging. Okay. Which had been right back down. Okay. The 360 monitor that we have set up at the junction which is monitoring three tunnels goes into alarm as the sound of something or someone walking by. Here is the audio taken from Static Cam 5. Oh shit. Okay, I mean that, that's clear as day. I did not expect that. I mean, yeah, I mean, he told me that he, you could hear footsteps, but I wouldn't believe that they would be so clear. Okay, 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 this is very exciting. And a bit spooky. I mean, people are very brave, because I mean, if I was down in those tunnels there, doing stuff like that, I would probably pass out a couple of times. But okay. The sound of disembodied footsteps can clearly be heard, proving that the Ghost Tech team is definitely not alone. As time went on, something chilling was captured on their digital recorder. Was that you, Phil? No, that wasn't me. Mark? Me. It wasn't me. Where are you? Are you I mean, can you imagine for them? I mean, for us, I mean, you can see them. I mean, it seems like it's a bit of light, but I mean, for them, it's very, very dark down there. I mean, the, the, that's even more scarier than you think. Blimey. We all hear a growling sound nearby, which is then followed by a demonic voice that says, Try me. Here is the audio, enhanced. That's a bit cocky. Uh oh. Was that you, Phil? No, that wasn't me. Mark? I mean, now, hey, to be honest, it could have been me, because I'm a bit hungry. This growl can be heard, followed by a taunting disembodied voice saying, try me. And soon after uh -oh. this chilling capture, the guys realized that something was in the room with them. There's a figure standing there now. Oh god well, damn. We can both see it. Yeah. yeah. Can we? There is a fig there is a figure or something stood in that corner now. I can see the top of its head. Looks like it's got its legs partly spread. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I oh shit. I mean you're telling me that this big, big thing here is not your reflection. Uh oh. Okay. Are you sure it's not graffiti on the wall, Mark? No, no, because it wasn't there before. But that's what that's why I suddenly It's moved. It's moving. It's, it's moving. arm just moved up. It's moving, Jeff. It just moved. 
Are you sure it's not your reflection? Okay, it's actually moving. A figure appears in the corner of the room, and Phil and Mark are both filming and seeing it with their own eyes. I am unable to see anything as I do not have a night vision camera and all I can see is complete darkness. Is this the dark entity or is this one of the soldiers? Here is the footage again from all angles, enhanced. There is a, fig nice. there is a figure or something stood in that corner now. I can see the top of its head. Looks like it's got its legs. Because I mean it's not their shot. I mean could it be though? I mean something is... Because I mean could it be? Be a reflection from them, I mean maybe, but it seems like they are holding the light. I mean you can see the light here. And it doesn't really seem like any light is coming from here, so I don't know. I mean let's see, because I mean the hand is moving everything, so let's check out his hand. It's partly spread. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Are you sure it's not graffiti on the wall, Mark? No, no, because it wasn't there before. But that's what that's why I saw it. It's moved. It's moving. It's arm just moved up. It's moving, Jeff. A faint shadow figure can be seen standing in the corner of the room. Phil and Mark watched on as the mm. figure moved right in front of their eyes. If we take a look at the different camera angles, we can see that this wasn't just anyone's shadow, as Phil and Jeff are completely still. As yeah, I mean, I noticed that as well, but I mean, it almost felt like they were too still. I mean, when they're talking and then talking about something moving and they're still totally still. So I mean, okay, that's a bit... Weird. This figure moved to the right. The mountain of evidence caught during this investigation undoubtedly proves that Grain Fort is the home of something dark, and also proves to me that I never want to visit. I mean that we can agree on. Okay, okay, that was that was spooky, and I actually liked it, and it felt pretty legit. Okay, I mean yeah, it was really nice. You gotta go in and subscribe to them if you want to see some more from them, because I mean, they're really good. Four. Recently on the channel, we took a look at the terrifying experiences of a man named Jay from Australia. His disbelief in the paranormal led him to play with a Ouija board, and yeah, that's even not good. demons to possess him. He soon found out just how real the paranormal is, as chilling things began to happen around his home. Well, Jay recently posted a short update on this activity. Okay. Let's just see. This is where all the shit went down last time. Yes. A fork moved off the bloody bench there. Where's the water bottle? The water bottle hasn't actually moved. It's still there. Good. But apparently, I don't know, I wasn't here at the time. It bloody fell off the couch or something. I still don't know whether you guys are pulling my leg or not. <clears throat> is there anybody god I don't know if you can my camera's shaking because I'm shaking sorry yeah, I noticed that I mean you can clearly tell it is he's shitting it I mean it is I don't I don't want to say anything yet but as, it, as of right now it feels pretty legit <clears throat> okay something's gonna happen uh oh Did you see that? Yes, I did. Did you see that? I did. It was actually pretty spooky. My god. Uh oh. My god, man, I'm sorry, sorry, but I'm shaking like a fing leaf at the moment. <clears throat> Understandable. <clears throat> oh, the music makes it very intense. Uh oh. Get fucked. Get fucked, man. Get fucked. The table in his kitchen slowly began moving on its own. This startling activity had Jay shaking as he couldn't believe what was happening in front of him. 
And this just so happens to be the same table that moved in one of his previous videos. I think it's safe to say that these shocking events have turned Jay into a believer. And for everyone I don't think watching, so. this is exactly why I always say to never touch a Ouija board. Yes. Unless, of course, you'd like to see your kitchen table move on its own. No thanks. Number five. I think I'm good. But I mean, yeah, like I've said before, I'm myself. I'm uh, I'm kind of skeptic to things like this. I mean, you would think that I would be a hard believer of the, all the things I've seen. But I'm not really, because I mean, the only way for me to actually believe it, I guess, is to see it my, for myself. And I mean, do I actually want to do that? I don't think so. So... I mean, being a bit skeptic, I'm okay with it. I mean, I still enjoy it. And I can still... I mean, because like this felt feels pretty legit. So I don't know. I mean, interesting. I mean, you could clearly hear that he is actually shitting his pants. So I mean, yeah. It's spooky. Over on the Haunted Side YouTube channel, Paranormal Investigators Patrick and Jason set out to investigate the Clean Water Demon House in Nevada. This Close house it. is supposedly extremely haunted. And it people believe like it. this haunting is caused by the multiple deaths that took place inside. Well, as Patrick and Jason stepped foot inside the house, strange things quickly began happening. Robert. Did, did we really have to pick the red light? I mean, that makes it a bit worse. Region. Ooh, I got Pink. dizzy there for a second. Tone. Central. Star. Dude, that thing's going Valley. off like crazy. Club. Are you Pink. figuring out how to use this? Roger. Seems like it. Said rock. Ooh. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't looking, but I caught a glimpse of something kind of there-ish. It stopped. Okay. Yeah, it did. Oh, it's so cold right here. Yeah, it just got real cold. Oh. But right something in here. Something just stepped it, above me. Did you hear that? No. no. Are you upstairs? Did you hear that? No. Yes. It was like loud as hell. And that's a room directly above me. It just went. I heard it. Who's in here? Ambition. Oh, oh what? Oh, Jesus. Applet. Children. Applet and children? After Patrick asked who's in here, a quiet, childlike voice can be heard saying, me. Really? What makes this even more bizarre is just moments later, their device said the word children. As the guys continued on, they heard something Ugh. unnerving upstairs. Ooh, did you hear that? I thought it was you. No, it was like, out there. Look. What was that? I don't know. What was what? Dude, what was what that? What the f was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. No. It sounded like grumbling. Like, yeah. Uh oh. What the f Okay, that's very loud. What the f it was right there. Who's in here? A loud knock coming from directly above them startled both Patrick and Jason. And as they went, I was it really knocked though. I mean, it sounded more like someone was moving something really heavy. Okay. Upstairs, looking for the source of this sound, the static camera downstairs caught something chilling. Whoa! Uh oh. Dude! I mean, to be fair, that could have happened because of the movement in the house, because I mean, it's an old house. I mean, yes, it's a bit spooky, but was it paranormal? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, that's a bit more strange. Downstairs, things just got even creepier. But throughout this entire investigation, little did Patrick and Jason know that something downright terrifying was keeping an eye on them. Why is it even a bike in there? Okay, yeah, let's take this down. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. 
What? What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow, but it was on the other side of that window. Oh shit. Right as I was walking back into the house, I just happened to glance down at the camera's LED screen. I thought I saw Ooh. some kind of black shadow yeah. behind that window, but I didn't even realize until I reviewed the footage that I'd captured probably one of the... I mean, you can clearly see it here, and it's a big one. Uh-oh. It's a spooky, spooky shadow man alert. Best shadow figures I've ever seen. Okay, that, yeah, that's insane. And here's even more compelling. This is the shot from the camera that was sitting inside of that room. I'm going to sync up the audio from this camera to our cameras and show you that there's no explainable reason that something should have been behind that door. Okay. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? Okay, I'm not sure where we are here. Is that this? And this is here? I think so. Yes? I don't think that was a shadow. It was on the other side of that window. Yeah, I mean, I can move a bit so you can see everything that's going on. What's up, guys? Is it okay if I hang around down here? Okay. Had we realized in the moment okay, of what course. we captured, I don't think we would have walked by that door so casually. A dark shadow figure ominously stood in the window, watching their every move. But this wasn't the only time this dark figure made an appearance. When uh -oh. it's not feeding back. Well, I guess we unpack first. No, 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 no. Ah, you're near. There I am. Hello there. Like that. Midgen, just tell me when when it's not feeding back like that. You yeah, don't really see it. What's especially creepy about this figure is it appears there and then a second later disappears from that window. With this unnerving figure being in multiple different I mean, areas that was hard to house, see. during the investigation, it's safe to say that it was watching the investigators every move. And now for a bonus video. Okay. I mean, that was also very good. But in the last part, I couldn't really, really see. I mean, if we go back a bit. Am I okay? I mean, yeah, you can see it here. But is it a shadow person or is it just something else? I don't know, because it's not moving. Huh. I mean, that, that, that's, that's a bit weird. What's especially creepy about this figure is it appears there and then a second later disappears from that window. Okay, I missed that. Multiple different areas of the house during the investigation. It's safe to huh. say that it was watching the investigators every move. Seems like and it. Now okay, that was that video. was spooky. This last video unfortunately comes from an unknown source. But from what I've gathered, a family began to notice what looks like a person standing and watching from their backyard. Oh, shit. And after waiting for it to make another appearance, they were finally able to catch it on camera. Okay. Beautiful morning, a little dog. Oh shit, okay, now I see it. That's not a real person. I mean, it could be, but... Okay, that, that's... Creeping as... Creeping as silhouette F. silhouette eerily stood at the tree line. Completely motionless, this figure appeared to be staring directly towards the camera. Their oh, dog shit. initially ran over to get a better look, but soon stopped in its tracks, unwilling to get any closer to whatever this may be. So could this be paranormal, or just a creepy neighbor that needs to find oh. a new hobby? Make sure to follow me on Instagram to hear more from your boy. As okay. always, if you enjoy these creepy videos, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to see more videos like this. Done already. Okay, that's it. I mean, this was a really good video. I mean, every clip felt pretty legit. And I mean, nothing was super duper scary, but I mean, it was still, still good. Still gave me a bit of chills. I mean, yeah, if you liked it as well, don't forget in the description, go in and subscribe and like to Fears on Top 5. And if you like this video, 
uh, like it and of course leave a little subscribe because it will help me a lot here but yeah until next time goodbye